Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate. We're here in Fountain Valley, California at a very secret location that used to be a rather fledgling miniature golf course. For all of you out there who have lost your place to skate, as you know, I encourage you to go out exploring in your neighborhood and find those places that absolutely need to be skated just like this one. Today's video is brought to you by the good people at PigeonSkates.com. They have a place here in Long Beach and they're online and they can get you every single thing you could possibly need for skating okay also the people at S1 make sure that I don't get hurt when I'm out here skating these exotic and strange locations that's where I get my helmet and my knee pads and all the padding up that I could possibly wear good people over at S1 will take care of you their links are in the description box below if you need to get anything for skating okay so today's video is gonna be all about using your knees when you skate. It's a very little, often overlooked strategy to understand how to skate in places that are non-traditional, but also in your everyday skating. How to use your needs, that's what we're gonna talk about. Every single time when I teach someone how to skate, I'm always telling them to bend your knees. You gotta bend your knees, you gotta bend your knees. Oftentimes, they go to bend their knees and it's like this. Just a little, a little bit of bend in the knee. And they say, well, Dirty told me to bend your knees. You didn't tell me how much I needed to bend my knees. Well, I'm here to tell you how much you need to bend your knees. I want you to take your hands, put them on your knees and settle down. That's exactly how much I need you to bend your knees when you're skating. So again, you're like this. Put your hands on your knees and settle down into it. That's how much I need your knee bent. Alrighty, having a bended knee tells the body that you're doing something. It helps alleviate fear. When you stand straight up, the body is fearful that you're going to rock yourself backwards or trip forward. But when we're on a bended knee, the body is on high alert, like something's going to happen, but I'm ready for it. Got my hands on my knees. So let's look at a couple of scenarios where having your hands on your knees really, really helps. Okay, let's check it out. Skaters, one of the hardest things to really master or even do as a new skater is a transition where we're skating forward and we turn around and we skate backwards. But if you use my special patented technique by putting your hands on your knees as you begin your transition and you're in the midst of it, you're up, 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 and then when you stop and you're backwards, you put your hands on your knees again. I promise you, your transition will feel better because it won't be so scary. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna skate forward. We're gonna say, all right, here it comes. We're down, up, 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 down. All right, so we're gonna skate forward. We're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna do this transition. We're down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down. All right, here's another look. Skating is all about being down to hold an edge or a position, bringing up your body weight to change direction, change edges, and then being like safe, down. So use your hands, down, up, 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 down. Bend those knees, I promise you'll do a lot better. Okay, let's try backward skating. Okay, let's talk about backward skating. A lot of times when people skate backwards, their biggest fear, obviously, is falling backwards. Oftentimes, I can't get them to bend their knees enough. So next time you try and you're practicing your backward skating, let's try it like this. Get your feet hip width apart. Get your hands ready. Drop your fun zone down. Put your hands on your knees. Stick your butt out, just a little bit, okay, just a little bit. Turn your feet inward, okay? Now you're down nice and low, put your arms out, pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down, pick them up, okay? Again, 
feet about hip width apart. Drop your fun zone. Put your hands on your knees. Turn your knees inward. Pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down. As I didn't know how much room I had. Let's do it again. As I start getting the movement, then I can raise my body up from the waist up. So I was down like this. Now I raise up and I can keep this bended knee as I'm skating backwards. One more look. Feet hip width apart. Drop your fun zone down, turn your knees inward. Pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down, pick them up, set them down. Stay low. Put your hands on your knees, put on the brake, and there you have it. So skaters, I understand that this is a minor detail, but incorporate it into all aspects of skating, especially if you are afraid to try something. More often than not, the fear is coming because your body is too straight up or your knees are locked into position. So use your hands, put them down on your knees, stick your butt out just a little bit, and I promise this bend in the knee is the key to feeling safe and agile on your roller skates. All right, skaters, that's all I got for today. But uh, I'm gonna keep a tour all around this place and see what other fun stuff we can get involved in. Skaters, I need you to practice. Have fun out there, be safe, wear your safety gear, and I'll see you next time. Bend your knees. You gotta bend your knees. You gotta bend your knees. Put your hands on your knees. You gotta bend your knees. You gotta bend your knees. Got my hands on my knees. Bend your knees. Put your hands on your knees. Stick your butt out. Just a little bit. Wait, wait, did that make sense? Hold on one second. I don't know, people. I got nothing, sorry.